Hey, hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to our channels. I'm Brian from Brian and E. Adam here with my good friend Darrell from Theme Park Lifestyle, and we're here in Disney Springs. And it's been a good minute since we live streamed from an actual in real life place. Uh, we do, if you don't already know, we do live streams uh, on Sundays uh, on our respective channels, so you can follow me. And uh, guys, please, before I get started, Drop us a like. Uh, I'm Brian from Brian and Ead. If you don't already know, um, and then to give the socials for Darrell. Okay, you can find Darrell at Eatport Lifestyle on all the social media platforms listed below. Just follow us, and we're gonna start doing live streams a little bit more often, whether it's together or separately. And we definitely live stream anyway every Sunday with our good friend Benito, and that's coming this week at eight o'clock for episode five. So tune in for that. Uh, give us a like. Give us. Um, a follow and a sub and yeah let's get this day going so what kind of day we have planned today a it's a stress-free day stress-free long day all right already was a long day because we wanted to check out uh the beignet the beignets at the uh, french quarter and what else oh some pins but you know you we were thinking yesterday why not add salted straw and swirls on the water into it uh, there are places we've been looking to check out. Now, we're not going to probably eat something at each of these places because we want to live today. We want to make it through the day. We don't want to die. So we'll save dying for another day. But today, we're definitely going to try the beignets. That's our main goal, the beignets. Check out the pins, some of the sights and sounds of Disney Springs. It's about 81 degrees, but this cool breeze, and we're getting some wind and uh, spray from the fountain over here. So it's real nice. So... Join us as we stroll along, and uh, it's going to be a long stream, but it's going to be a cool stream. And I just can't wait to get this started. And let me flip it around off of my big head so you guys see what's going down here. What's up, Manny? What's up, Lugo? Hey, Manny. Hey, Benito. All right, let me switch this right here, guys. There we go. We're gonna be uh, stopping along the way. We're gonna probably find some nooks and crannies and some places to kind of just chill and sit down and talk. Um, if you're just joining us, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, Brian? Welcome in. Manny, Brian, Wasco, what's up, buddy? CM. Manny. Luca, Matt, what's up? <coughs> so we're live from the west side now. We took the orange the garage. We parked there on the floor, and we're in search for salt and straw. I've never been. I only heard of it this week, and checked out the menu yesterday. They have some interesting stuff. The prices aren't too bad, but uh, let's see what we get for our serving. I'm not sure if we're actually. I mean, it's noon. Not sure if we're gonna get ice cream, but we'll definitely take a look at it. Hey Naya, what's up, buddy? Welcome in, good afternoon. Manny, thank you so much for that support. Picked a good day to come here. I believe I saw on the map that Saltham Shore is by Splitsville. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any videos on it, so I'm not exactly sure. I did look at the map. I came here, so let's see. What's up, Mike B? On the map, it said it's next to Splitsville, which is coming up down the peak there. So let's see. I should have checked their hours. I'm not even sure they're open yet, but still worth a, a look. See. Thank you guys for joining live. And if you're watching this on the replay, uh, if you're daring to watch this on the replay, thank you so much. Um, this is my first time streaming in a while, so I'm not going to go crazy over like if it's lagging and blah, 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 all that good stuff. But I would appreciate if it does, just give me a notice and a heads up. It's no big deal. I'm not trying to stress today, so just having a good day out with my buddy. 
I think I see it coming up. Has anyone been to Salt and Shore? Is this like something that's all around the country? I've never heard of it. Is it a southern thing? This is a new chain. Here it is right here. Let's see. Like I said, my live streaming skills might be a little bit rusty since I'm getting back into the swing of it. I haven't live streamed actually since the Christmas tree stroll. Uh, right here at Disney Springs actually back in December. So uh, it's been a minute, needless to say. You want to go in and take a look, see? All right, let's do. All right, guys. Let's see what's inside. Oh, shit. My bad. I should have known. There's a line. But that's fine. Let's see what they have here. I'm going to check out the flavors. I'm not sure if I want to wait on that whole line to go in. Here's some of the flavors. Bombless limes. Ice cream of moo, triple tropical twist, which I'm thinking I would probably get rosy the pink flamingo. And these classic flavors to salt and straw. Take a look at that strawberry honey balsamic with black pepper. That's interesting. Oh, really, Manny? You guys have it in downtown Disney? Um, I'm not. What do you think, Darrell? You want to get online for it? Are you going to eat anything? I would, I would get online. We are having the beignets today, so I'm not sure. I mean, the inside is kind of... I could just go in and take the show to the inside without waiting online, you know? <laughs> really? You don't want the balsamic with black pepper ice cream? What about the bottomless lime? That actually looks good. The key lime one? No? Really? Honestly? What about the tropical tropic twist? No? What do, what do you like? Like, if it has some alcohol, yes. Oh. oh no. Well, good news for you. We are heading to the Dole Whip swirls on the water, and they do have alcohol there. We have alcohol floats, and your beignets today are going to be laced with alcohol and other things. But it's pretty cool, though. I would definitely come try the Tropic Twist oh, and the lime. Guava and cheese. Is that pleasant? Guava and cheese. That's so interesting. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I looked online last night for the prices, like nine bucks, but I don't know about the portions. I need portions, man. I need portions. It's weird. Hold on, let me get the shade so I can see what you guys are saying. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, Diva, how are you? How are you? Welcome in and good evening. Good evening, good afternoon. See, my, my, my live stream skills are, are rusty, but okay. So that was Salt and Straw. I, I didn't expect to. That was kind of a last minute addition to my stream. I just thought about it yesterday. Let me stop on by. But we'll, we'll fully probably maybe next week uh, come back here and try that out. Our main mission today, like I said, is the beignets from the French Quarter. So we're actually going to take the ferry here uh, all the way to the French Quarter. So we did that a couple weeks ago. We're like, why not live stream this or get this for posterity? Because it, it was a pretty cool boat ride. But what we're going to do before we get on the ferry to go to the French Quarter, we're going to check out some of the new pins or any pins in the trading store. And also, um, we're going to check out Swirls on the Water because I think Darrell wanted to try a little alcoholic uh, Dole Whip. All right, let me get in this shade again. What's up, Manny? What are you saying here? We have a salt and stir, blah, blah, blah. Look, say a prayer. Work tonight at Disneyland. It's going to be super packed. Well, take it easy, my friend, you know? Take it easy there. She told her husband, 
let's throw the salt and straw. He said, why do I want to go to a place to look at straw? Who said that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. You think she cute by saying? So I figure we just keep walking. Uh, maybe we'll get down to the water here. Yeah, let's go down to the water. I think we'll go right here, right? I, I love this seating area. This is where Ian and I made our TikTok, that one TikTok. The TikTok where it says, like, going to Disney without your buddy. And it's him with all these treats. And I'm, like, hiding behind the van looking at him. It was cute. Oh. Hey, Kidder96, she's coming from, she's watching from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I got to go to Gatlinburg. Well, is yes. Gatlinburg area with Dolly, Dollywood? I think it's nearby, but it's also very, very touristy and I have a lot of cool shit. That's actually on the brochure. Cool shit. Okay. No, but they have like, um, what do you call it? They have a lot of stuff. Ead. Ead is watching from home. Ead, unfortunately, is working from home remotely, but he's going to tune in soon. And as we were leaving the house, he promised next time we do a live stream that he's going to be with us. Hey, have a wonderful day. Javier's in the house. Get on the balloon? I'll get on the balloon. I'm not afraid of the balloon. Javier, how you doing, buddy? I want to give Javi a little shout out here. I got to get in the shade, though, man. We're at the salt and straw. There you go. There's one for Javi. Congratulations on hitting 200, my friend. That is a tough thing to do. And here's to the next 200. So congratulations, buddy. Uh, if you haven't already done so, go check out Javier. Uh, let me get his stuff up here. There you go. Oh, no, that's Journey Awaits. There you go. You can check out Have a Wonderful Day on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Guys, forgive my, uh, my professional live stream skill. Uh, on full display here. It's my first time streaming in a while. We do we do stream from home, guys, every Sunday, but this is my first stream stream, like, in public. You're back at 199? Okay, I'm taking my banner back. Uh, Javier, that happens. It happens. And you'll, you'll see that, um, first of all, obviously, as you know, it's nothing to worry about. And you'll see that um, it ebbs and flows. So I'm sure that one will be back uh sometime very soon it happens with me too but what do we think of this view are we coming in clear i hope so i was telling the row like how come they have the ferry boats that we're about to ride in a little bit going to the resorts but they don't have the ferry boats that they used to have going from like um like say to the west side to the marketplace um they don't have it inside Disney Springs itself, so hopefully that comes back soon because I really enjoyed that. But you know what? Uh, you know a big reason why we came down last time. Hopefully it's windy here, guys. Uh, thank you for that. But the big reason I wanted to do this and we wanted to do this and we wanted to do it last time too is that people often forget that you could, you know, you come to Disney Springs for free. This is, of course, you know, you're watching your budget and paying mind to what you pay for. Or buy like Disney Springs it's free to come to and walk around and it's free to take ferries to the resorts and it's free to walk around the resorts all day. So I think it's something really 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 cool that's lost in a lot of people especially when they come to Disney Springs um, yeah you can just take this ferry boat over to some of the resorts uh, I think it's cool I think it's a great way to spend the day I think it's something besides the park that you could do especially if you have a downtime on your trip uh, Oh, really? Really? You got the Magic Kingdom a couple weeks ago? Yeah. What were you doing that? Just chilling? Or you, I you had a purpose? I actually go and film, but what ended up happening is it started pouring down rain. Oh. Right, go home. Were you ready for the rain? No. No. Of course not. No. And I, prom I, I told myself to bring an umbrella in case my phone overheated, but of course I forgot it. So. The girl already knows the deal with me, such as life, with my life. Um, 
All right, so we're going to continue walking on the water side here and make our way to the pen shops and everything. Oh, it's 16 days and she comes back here? Oh, yeah, she said counting down the days. She said she, said she wishing she was here. What do you think, guys? One of these days we got to convince Terrell to get on this. You know what? I might do it. Let's see if it's baby pad. Yeah, it's, it's tethered to the ground. All right, Manny. Manny says it's hard to hear when the wind picks up, but uh, it's died down a little, so hopefully it's a little better. He, he asked how your mom's doing. Huh? He, he, see him ask, but Manny asked how your mom's doing. Uh, I guess she's doing okay. She's at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. You heard it from Darrell. She's at home. All right. Let's awkwardly ruin these photos. That's always awkward. Not sure if this is running. Right, today. Investing you a mic for your um, live streams, definitely. Well, I have I have a mic for the um, the camera one. I need to get oh, one for okay. him. Yeah. He laughed at your comment that your mom's just come home. So, what do you think of the news that Starbucks is coming to uh, Connections Cafe? I mean, it's Starbucks. Do you drink Starbucks? Oh, you don't drink coffee, right? I don't drink coffee. Yet. So it doesn't matter to him. Honestly, I, I don't. I drink coffee. I'm not obsessed with it. I don't have to have coffee every day. Okay. Can I just see? Oh. Same here. How are you? Which one did you have last time? I got the Boogie Pebbles last time. Look at that. Look at that. Those are delicious. Is this the only spot to get these here? Uh, we have another one at our um, kiosk that's on the opposite side. It's right next to the marketplace. Okay, very cool. Thank you. You're going to try it, bro. Listen, those wasn't that hot. Trust me. No, and they weren't really draped with the, the coating. I thought it was going to be like stuck on it. They took the churro. The one I had was Fruity Pebbles. They took the churro and they put Fruity Pebbles cereal. Well, you know how the bottom of the cereal yes. is nothing but sugar? The dust. That's what they took and put on the um, churro. Yeah, that felt like a little jib. So I felt some type of way. I paid six bucks for that. It's expensive. It's expensive for cereal dust. <laughs> I'll be just asking if that's the churro stand that had the D23 discount. Yes. Even with the discount, it ain't worth it. What? Thrill's hanging his head low. Well, you, you just gave not the best review of it. I mean, the churro was okay. It was more like a rich bread yeah. than a churro, but yeah. it was okay. But as far as that topping, I didn't like it. Yeah, we got a beautiful day. It's going to be mint on the ferry. It's going to be nice. I did here before the hop. I put the banner up, congratulations on 200 with hockey. He goes, I'm not 199. <laughs> I told him, don't freak out about it. It happens. He's going to be there. Next stream that he does, he's gonna be there. Oh yeah, for sure. He'll be there probably before that. Probably today he'll be there. Did we go to Paradiso 37? Sounds like, right? This sounds like something that was uh, around back in the old days. Lugo said he can't wait for next week. Damn, someone's angry. Right, 
No, nope, not today, buddy. I don't need to be looking like a, a fish. Oh, the art of shaving is really good. Really? Yeah. You ever heard of it? Yeah, they treat you well there. It's pricey, though. Oh, God. I am of a different culture. We're very particular about people touching our hair. Right. So that's why I asked that question. Right. Now, I can't speak from that experience. I don't know. All right, so the crowd is thinning a little here. This is always nice. I have to be honest, I haven't gone to a lot of these places. I need to start checking them out. Is this it right here? This is the infamous Gideon. I nice sometimes I just miss it. Is there a full virtual queue thing? I don't think so. I think like rubbing the knee on a virtual queue. Oh damn. Yeah, that's a no. That's a no. We'll come back for like in three years when the line is now. This look I saw a TikTok on this. This looks interesting. I would like to go here. A hangar bar? Yeah, I've been here with Eat over here to a wine bar, George. Classiest night. It's a good spot for a drink. This looks like this is gonna be cool if they have like bands playing there. Yeah, there's always something going on here. But I wanna get down by the water. This feels like, even though it's, you know, it's not that hot, it feels like just a nice summer day. Summer is upon us. Next Wednesday. Javier said hangar bar, good. You gotta check it out, Javi. Maybe we can all get drinks there one time. Javi, next week, brother, Benito's coming with his fam. Maybe we can take a little side trek and all of us can hang. The last time we hung out was uh, the holidays. So we gotta get moving on that. If you can, guys, you're in here let me know how the audio is and the video i would appreciate that oh that would be nice because my channel i can't see all the conversations yeah obviously especially the drinks yeah we gotta stop by now during the holidays this is one of my favorite places to come chill so listen well, Whenever we go somewhere, we got to bring Javier because he's the drink guy. Yeah. Audio and video is good. Thank you, Javi. Um, I like to sit here. Uh, I found out there's a little puppy and cat place there, pet place. Um, I like to sit in this particular area and just people watch and sightsee. Yeah, it's windy. Actually, right now where we are, like we're getting no direct breeze breeze even though you see the trees moving like i don't feel it but yeah it whips around the corner so sorry about that next time i'll definitely have that camera for the phone wow have that camera for the phone have that mic for the phone but i will say diva these are my most favorite days at disney when it's a breeze and it's breezy whether it's the summer or the winter Tell Lugo, man, my bad. My phone was in my pocket. I didn't know I timed him out. Oh, shit. <laughs> you timed out Lugo? Damn. Um, Benny, apologies about that. He butt-timed you out. He didn't mean to do that. Is he back in? Huh? Is he back in? It said 300 seconds. Oh, damn. That's all right. He can come to me on the live. You know that's good.
Um, I've eaten here. I'm not fond of it. It looks cool, though. Steve, you're not joking. I remember the first time that I live streamed last year was from Hollywood Studios. And with my partner, my fiance, Yed. And we did not plan it well. And we had signs of, like, heat stroke on our first live stream. So, yeah, the sun, the humidity, everything, dehydration. Uh, it's no joke. Google Man said he had a good laugh. He also said your days are numbered. Him and that's fine. I'm ready for it. Okay, he, he didn't say all that, but I'm trying to start shit. Looks like we came here at a good time. Not too crowded. But, uh, guys, the wind is about to pick up, so apologies. Maybe lower it so it doesn't hurt your ears. Kind of like in the center where everything's open now. Okay. Feel a lot of wind. Every time we come, it's always a mass quiet. Oh, that's funny. Last time we came here, there was a high school choir, and now they're back with another choir. But they look more ready. They got robes. Listen, they thought they were sister at two last time, and that was a, a whopping fail. Yeah, but they got robes and everything. They look more... Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll stop by and see. They're going to have to bring some seasoning. Oh, Lord, with the seasoning. And I just feel like if you're going to perform, you got to bring it. You but by seasoning, you mean what? They need to bring some seasoning to it, some culture to it, some, some food. Mm. Darrell just don't want to say what he wants to say. <laughs> All right, you want to check out the choir for a little bit? If they're singing? Hey, for the love of Disney's in here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you? Alan's in here. What's up, Alan? How are you, buddy? We're just we're just coming in and just joining us. We're just hanging out at these springs for a carefree day. We checked out Salt and Straw for a little bit. We're about to check out some pins and uh, squirrels on the water and then take the ferry over to the French Quarter to get some big yates. So, I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah, uh, for the love of Disney, if you're still in the room, uh, you're gonna we're gonna highlight you this week, and maybe the week after you could come on and just hang with us. Uh, we love your channels, for the love of Disney and for the love of cooking. At the end of the stream, I'll put that in the description below. Oh, for the Imagination Campus, what is it? Oh, oh happy anniversary, Alan! I hope it's a great day. For you guys, congratulations. Listen, I gotta come back at 5 p.m. Why? I wanna see the dance studio. The dance studio, senior dance company. Exactly. You know I love dance. Okay. That's kinda cool. There's just gonna be a bunch of ECVs knocking into each other. Yeah, exactly. oh, Alright. They look like they're about to sing. You wanna sit and watch or you want them to go? to have you for the love. I can't wait. She said she would love to hang. Alright. Let's see when this is going to start. Oh, Alan, that's awesome. That sounds like a great time. Have you been there before? I need some sauce. If you, if you haven't been there before, um, Alan, uh, you gotta check out that, um, I'm pretty sure you already know everything about it, but there's like a lazy river that goes really fast. I love that one. The Volcano Bay, man. I haven't been there in a minute. I gotta head back this summer. We have a volcano here, it's just on Volcano Bay. It's a shitty rainforest. Yeah. Can they start? 
Oh, I gotta wait. He's slow. Gonna sit front row for that one. How's the vi how's the video, guys? And the audio is okay. Besides the wind. Oh, there goes the fire. There's a fire at Volcano Bay. Oh, for the love, uh, she's asking how long we're gonna be here about. Well, I'm going to be here till five, after 5.30. Yeah, like 5.30, definitely like around 6. Is this going to be copyrighted? What if they start singing soon? Ah! They gave me the whole Sister Act 2 program. Thank you, Lugo. What would you say? What if they gave me the whole Sister Act 2 program? I would have to record I that. Up, I love Sister Act 2. Are they all scared by the fire? I will say this. Um, thank you, Javi. For the love, we're gonna um, we're gonna be here a good minute. We're gonna be at about six six thirty. Oh, you start working? She says she starts working for. Okay. Maybe come by and see. Yeah. Actually, Darrell was just asking about you, like right before we started streaming. So that's cool. Thank you so much, Javi. are pleased to present the Sheeler Area High School Concert Choir for Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we have a full day after this, right? After this, we're gonna go swirls in the water. Uh, and then we're gonna check out some pins and then take the ferry over to the French Quarter to get some beignets.
So what, one more song and we'll bounce? Because Darrell's already having it. Uh, shout out for uh, theme park, homie. Uh, Everyone's saying, Darrell saying that in the room. Thank you for that good effort, I think. Here, guys, do you guys stop by and chill, or do you just pass them on by? Yeah, you ready? You gotta be there by. Onwards to our beneath. Nothing's gonna stop us. Does it feel like you're here, guys, dodging the crowd with me? It's not too crowded. Yo. Is, 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 I'm being as many people as there are, it's not too crowded. Yeah, what's up? What do you mean? About? Are you, are you triggered? Traumatized? Well, the weather represented correctly. If you're going to do something, do it right. Okay. So what was don't, it represented? Don't. The source material, or like yeah. representation on representation stage? Of, if you're gonna use, right? How can I put this? Yeah. yeah. I, I'll talk about it on Sunday. Okay. I'll, talk, I'll definitely talk about it on Sunday. Uh, you know how it is. We, 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 Jacrita said you'd have them dancing and singing. Huh? You'd have them dancing and singing, Jacrita said. I would. I mean, they sound okay. Singing wise, they sound okay. Yeah. But if you're going to incorporate African drums into this, right. if you're going to incorporate African instruments, yeah. 
let's let's use it what it's supposed to be for. Like let's really like jam out with it. So you Don't think that's it down. do you think that's possible it with, is possible. with an all white? It is possible. Yeah. But again, you you have to learn it from somewhere. If you don't know how to really do it, then guess what you need to do? You need to do your research and find out how to really do it. That's right. like with me dancing. Right. I cannot go and do ballet if I don't know how to do ballet. It's going to look like a washed down version of what I'm trying to do. Right. I right. I mean, those are those, those are real, like, legit thoughts. I like, I, I like that. Um, with the Jaquita, with the Turo, you're not missing anything. Last time we were here, Darrell got one of those and he did not like it because it does not look like the picture. They don't put it around the churro. They just take like the, kind of the sugary dust that's on the bottom of the cereal, you know, when it gets to the end. And that's what they put. Oh, the soft opening for the Disney Railroad? Yeah, Disney Railroad. We're never going to live that joke down. All right, guys, so we're gonna enter what's possibly the hottest store on Disney property. And by hottest, I don't mean like hippest. I mean, uh, literally the hottest. And it's open on all sides. So we're gonna quick, we're gonna just quickly check out the pins in here. Well, that's cool. Uh, see what's what. Even though I'm not a pin person, but that's cool. Okay, you don't have to announce that cool. coming into the pin store. I think it's cool. okay. What they gonna do to me? These pin people let me, let me stop, but they chase me down. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see what they have here. Like you should always check the case. Is that for BBC members? Just see it. I like that one. Annual pass holder. You can find annual pass holder in like, um, hold on. My uh, gimbal. Yeah, there's no air conditioner, but you figure, actually today's not too bad. I, I misspoke. But usually it's very hot in here. I'm going to check out the new pins here. You should always come here to check out the pins. And then, of course, the counters over here have the special pins. So if you don't see what you want here, definitely go over here. And these are just like the general release pins, which are cool, too. But I'm going to check to see. Oh, my God. You see that Epcot pin? Yeah, I see it. Lordy, I'm about to get that on the way back. So I just want to know, what do you do with the pins after you get them? What do we do with the pins? Yeah. We display them. Like like the really expensive cool ones, I just you know I just like, play like my uh, pin board. Pin board. Okay. I don't like sell or anything. And then the ones like these or the ones I get from people or the ones I get part of a package, but I don't want the rest of them. Trade I'll just them? trade. Yeah. So I'm gonna come back. To, I think I see the one. Wow, that's, that's a that's huge like one. one. Sorry guys. That's the one Lua yeah. wants right there. Uh, uh, this one? Yes, little girl, they have it. So I'm going to pick it up for you. And they also have this one. Oh, look at that. That has Cosmic Rewind in it. That's pretty cool. Oh, That's cool. That's cool. Okay, Benny, I'm going to get that one for you. They do. They do. Now I just got to see if they have it here, though. Darrell, would you at all mind just holding it while I get my shit out? I'm sorry. You guys, please excuse his language. Oh, he was raised by wolves. What's going on, Jaquita? How are you? What's going on, Iad? What up, Javi? Jaquita, he did say what you thought he said. He did. Oh. Yeah, he absolutely did. So he's a pen person. I'm a bag, a book bag person. 
I don't have any lounge flies, but I do have a couple of Disney book bags. Jaquita, we wish you were here so you can hang out with us and we can have all the laughs. This is an attractions pins. This one looks pretty cool. Looks like they got the Yeti, they got Nemo, they got Alice in Wonderland for the teacups. They have pirates on here. And the Haunted Mansion, Jasmine and Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, and I guess this is supposed to be for Hollywood Studios. Looks like the dragon. I don't know, that's pretty cool. If I was a pin collector, I would definitely get those. Jaquita, I like hats too, but I don't wear hats because they don't look right on me. And I like the way fedoras look, but I don't know. I just never wear hats. Benny, pick up your pen, sir. Can you see on camera? The new pen is the latest Cinderella 50th pen. I think there's three others to go along with this. So you got it, brother. And then I got this. I couldn't resist that. I'm a big up pop pen. And look at that. I didn't even look at the whole thing. It's Race Bird, Test Track. What is that? That's Figment. That's the Dream Finder. Okay, we'll throw that away. And then it's Cosmic Rewind. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to showcase. That's pretty cool. Why don't you just get at the Benny? He always talking about the Dream Finder. Is this really the Dream Finder? That's the Dream Finder. What is it? Oh, that's just like wagon shit that flies in the air? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, that's cool, Benny. I'll give you, Benny, I'm going to give you that pin. You can have that pin. Because I'm going to take that pin apart and you can have that. All right, very cool. So, onward, I think to the left here. Sorry. I think to the left here. Sorry. I think to the left is, uh, I'm just going to spend all day apologizing for you. I think to the left is swirls on the water. So we're gonna check out real quick. I know you're feeding for alcohol. Oh, that's cute. You going to Star Wars? No. Watch. I think it's over here, Daryl. At least from what I saw on the map. Throw the dream finder away. Why? I thought you love that. Oh, don't you throw the dream? Oh, okay. No, I'm not gonna do that. I was just joking. Nah, I paid for that shit. I'm not throwing it away. So let's go see. We're gonna check out swirls on the water again. I'm not sure if we're getting anything. But we'll see. Our main goal today is the beignets, but getting something. They got something to drink. I'm getting it. Do you want to sit down and have it? Uh, okay, let's do that. All right, cool. I like this. All right, we're going to get some of some swirls in the water. And, uh, yeah, I know, Benny almost ran. And we're going to have uh, a little sit down here, I guess. That's cool. So there it is right here. Swirls in the water. And let's see what it's all about. Now, this seems right up my alley. I did not know about this until like three weeks ago. They took away uh, the creperie, and now we have a dedicated Dole Whip stand, which is pretty cool.
You know better, Darrell. That is not Volcano Bay. All right, here we are. Swirls on the water. Let's check this out. Whoa. Yeah. No. It's a flight. It's a sampling, man. You think they're gonna give you a whole gallon? Okay, so we need to get a bigger one. I'm gonna try the flight. Is it an alcoholic? Lugo, have a great day. I hope it's stress free. Take care, Benny. Have a stressful day. Not stress free, not stressful. All right. So, what are we looking at here? Let me follow the rules and enter here. All right, so what they got? I got back in. You go. Right, go ahead. I'm going to take a picture of the sign just like oh, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Polynesian, and you get them to get a pineapple and fill it with Dole Whip, and then they put the rum chaser on top. Oh. And then you lay on a hammock on the beach and watch the fireworks if you're still awake. Okay. That's great. You are welcome. <laughs> oh, I got a vlog there. I got to be there. It's not a drinking trouble, it's <laughs> That's awesome. Well, look, that's a big portion. The, the nachos, what do they call that? The lime nachos. That's big. Ready to order, Darrell? Okay. Can I get a um, Dole Whip float? I'm so sorry. The Dole Whip flight? Yeah. And Darrell, what are you going to He's going to get the one with the float top of rum. So the flight and then a float with rum? Yes, please. Pineapple float? Pineapple float? Yeah. And then did you want to do the spice or coconut? Coconut rum. So I have a flight and then a pineapple float with some Malibu. Yes. Uh, Brian? Okay, I got you. Uh, All right. You get, you get the beignet. I'm not allowed to show the, the cash register. Jaquetta, I thought it was squirrels too, but it's swirls. <laughs> squirrels on the water? That's what I thought it was at first when they kept like saying it. Rat yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the corner and get us a table there, right? Or where we came from, like in the middle. Do you mind? Yeah, no problem. Fair. Darrell worried he ain't getting his rum. All right, so I'm going to take us to hopefully a little table over here. And we are going to enjoy We're Oh, it's nice and windy over here. Sorry about that, guys. It feels good for us. I know it's not so great on your end, but my goodness, it feels nice today. All right, let me set this camera up, guys. So we get settled and I'll turn it around. 
What's up guys? I'm so stoked to be here. It's really turning into a nice day. Uh, it's just very peaceful, very calm compared to the parks and I'm just loving being here. So, we're at Swirls on the Water. We're actually, I'm actually at a table right next door. So we just ordered our um, Dole Whip Flight. And Darrell ordered his Dole Whip Club with rum, so we're gonna check it out and see how it goes. Takrita, how are you? I miss you so much. Squirrels of Florida will punch you in your nose and steal your sandwich. Brian, you look so handsome, love your haircut. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's not the best, but it is what it is. Now that I'm balding, it's my only choice. But guys, I love this. I didn't never even knew this was out. I'm in love with this, and I'm in love with this. Cosmic Rewind. I just love it. How many times can I say love? Everybody said no. And this is my fourth uh, Cinderella pin. I normally don't collect these, but I thought these were pretty cool. They open up some different scenes of Cinderella and Cinderella movie. Like the iconic movie. So like her trying on the slipper or running down the steps, stuff like that. So I don't exactly know what the red dots around the castle are supposed to be. I think maybe something to do with projection. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know the reason for it. I do know it was on some of the other pins too, a different color, so I'm not sure. But wait, how's the, um, how is the, uh, I like this little area here. My favorite thing to do in Disney is just get uh, a table to sit at. Uh, sometimes, preferably, like in a nook and cranny where no one is, and just enjoy hanging out and talking. I want to do a live stream like that next week where I go to one of the parks or just um, anywhere, really. A Disney Universal property, and just sit, grab some snacks and a drink, and just chill out with you guys. So, but, uh, yeah, so I'm glad I got Benny that pin. Damn, that pin was, that pin was crazy expensive. I'm never going to say how much it is. All I'm gonna say is, Benny, you owe me your life. Life. So cool. I'm a big, um, if you don't already know, um, I'm a big collector of pins, but only Epcot, um, Epcot, Chippendale, only like seasonal pins or event pins that I've gone to. So I only, so Flower and Garden, if someone gave me a Flower Garden pin, or like a really cool one was available, but I haven't gone to the event, I don't get it. So it has to mean something to me. It has to have a personal connection to me. Oh Lord, here comes our friend. How you doing? I appreciate that, thank you. I need to go get you a spoon. I'm gonna suck it down. Okay. All right, let me show the good people the flight. I don't even know what's in it, but here's the flight. Oh, hello. Right here, swirls on the water. It's a, they, it's, oh, it's the Dole Whip place. But he got the, um, what is it, the rum float. And they have a sangria one. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Tiny, but cool. But these are them, guys. Yeah. There you go. I think this one is with tahini over here. And this is a cookie dough one. Yeah. And this is a lemon lime one. Oh, it's melted. I'm going to drink these. On camera. Yeah, right? <laughs> Go get it. Did your audience see it? Yeah, but I didn't see yours. I don't want to touch yours. To the unsuspecting audience. <laughs> Expecting eyes, just a regular float. But rum creeps. You think it's gonna rain? It's not gonna rain. No. Two percent chance of rain. 
but you don't know my luck. But yes, this is Disney. They supposedly they make their own rain. That's what Lugo said. <laughs> he said it's in the UK pavilion. I heard a YouTuber tell me in the beginning. They, oh, you know what? Actually, they go to Quito. Quito is like, and I think uh, Florida Park Explorer, they told me. Wait, these are like suction to the ground? It's sugar. Oh, it's sugar? It's sugar at the bottom, so it don't move. Oh, okay, that's smart. Um, the Quito told me never to eat on camera. No? She said never to eat on camera. <laughs> Follow that philosophy. I don't care. I'm gonna drink. Oh shit. This is like tart, like lemon blueberry. I like yeah, okay. I don't even taste the raw. Oh, I'm tell I'm I'm exposed. She's like, don't tell what I said. I'm like, I'm exposing all the tea. Thank you so much, Sequita. So how you feeling today? I'm having a lay back day. I like it. It's a great day. It's even better now that I got some rum. Yeah, sure. I'm a big rum person, you guys. Just in case if you can't, if you didn't know. Too bad Blue Girl's not here. I know. But where's Javi? See, I look today. Oh, that's good. What do you think? It is good. Yo, she said to get a rum drink from um, what's the hotel? I can't think of it right now. Oh, um, Polynesian yes. hotel. Yeah. And sit on the beach and just. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna vlog that. Some people do it and watch the fireworks from the beach. Yeah, ice cream all I'm saving it for beard. dinner. <laughs> saving it. It's gonna happen. My beard is all over the place. But um <clears throat> have you ever been to Trader Sam's? <clears throat> it's pretty cool. See, I would go there, go to Trader Sam's. Honestly, I didn't get a did anything though. in the Polynesian. I stayed there before, but I never did anything in it. I was gonna say they go Mount Everest. Why does it look so cool still? I was gonna make that joke before. So if you're just joining us, I'm Brian for Brian and E. Adam here with my good friend Darrell from Deep Work Lifestyle. I'm going to put our socials in the description below. Uh, we do a live stream every Sunday with our friend Benito, uh, where we just talk about Disney news and like shoot shit and just talk about our opinions and whatever comes. comes. We highlight Disney influencers. Uh, we're having our first guest on this week. We're having Javier from Have a Wonderful Day. So excited about that because he just hit... He just hit 200 minus one, and we're going to have a great time with him on the stream. But uh, we're having a great time here today. Our, our mission for this is to go to the French Quarter to get our beignets. But we're going to soup them up with some alcohol, right? So it's blue rum, 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 I don't know. Yeah, so we're going to... Uh, we just stopped at that swirls on the water. We got our floats and we got our flights. And we're just having a good time just chilling out. You know, so. I hate these paper straws that you just have in here. Fresh paper saving the environment. Honestly, I'm with you. I hate them. They got Lego Dragon in the water. That's the name of it, actually, the big ass Lego Dragon. <laughs> yeah, Shaquita, congratulations on the hobby. And we're going to keep this stream going. Ebbs and flows, people come in and out. Um, I'm gonna keep it going as long as I can. I got some extra batteries. I want to get our our ferry ride after this going to our ride. No, the ferry ride, ferry boat. Ride. Oh, I was gonna say, ride. Although, on, eh? although pretty soon there'll be lightning lane for it. <laughs> but what we like, what we like about this ferry ride, at least for me, is that it's actually longer than a typical Disney transportation ride. It goes about 10 minutes. Listen, I don't like the ferry boat. I don't. I hate the ferry boats. For real. You know what I'm hoping for on this one? You know what I'm hoping for? What? What? Why am I getting? I'm hoping that we're going on an hour. I think last time we went during the dinner rush. I think 
maybe the boats might be a little bit oh, yeah. more um, less roomy. Yeah, less proud of me. Hey, Benny. Different Benny. Boom, one, one. How are you? Listen. Long time no see. How's it going? All right, this is not going to look attractive. I told oh, yeah. you to get a, a spoon. I would have got fine. you a spoon. I don't care what you think of this is definitely better tasting than this one. This one was good though. The Mickey Mouse cookie one? Yeah, but it had like a blueberry tart, lemon blueberry tart. I like that. I like that. This is straight Are up. Are you on camera? You got ice cream all around your beard. This is straight up citrus. <laughs> I'm going to make this a meme. <laughs> I'm going to go right ahead. Mm. Oh, nice. Enjoy that day off. We're enjoying our day here. We have a lot to explore still. Up there, I wanted to really? It, it was. That's why I saved the it, it doesn't taste like anything. Well, because I had it by itself. Oh, okay. It doesn't taste like anything, but it definitely hits your throat. Oh, okay. Very cool. Last time someone hit my throat was. That's actually pretty good. But the middle one reigns supreme. She said, <laughs> listen, she said, I was like, oh, you should try that habanero. She said, um, my people don't like spicy food. Oh, shit. She said, that. <laughs> she said we just do you with salt and pepper. <laughs> Okay, I like it. I like it. It's not bad. Good. I definitely got to get it by itself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I inhaled them. They were good, though. How's yours? It's good. It, it is a dole whip, a pineapple dole whip. This one was like a cream sickle type one. It was good. Okay. The wine flavor with Sprite is the Peter Pan. Lime with Sprite? Sprite. Really? That's and just had. Oh, nice. Thanks for the heads up. Thank you. Kind of a with the fish yet out of. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, that's a nice couple. Like, they would be cool to hang out with. Them. This is, yeah, this is a pineapple bowl with flavor. It's just a little rum. How much rum are you feeling it? Are you someone that it takes a lot for you to feel something, or are you just not feeling it there? I'm not feeling it. Okay. It's not a lot. I can tell it's not a lot. Because I can feel it in the first drink if it's a lot. So, question, is it like uh, enough for you, or you wish you had a little more? I want more. Right, okay. He wants more. We all want more. Oh. But I can say this if you're not a, a real alcoholic person to drink, like drink a lot of alcohol, yeah. this is perfect for you. Because you get the, a little hint of it, but not, it's not that bad. Right. So for someone that doesn't drink, that would be enough. Mm -hmm. Or drinks like very, very rarely. I told these guys, like, this is like my perfect, like, to find a spot in the shade, just to chill. Or even sometimes like a nooks and cranny where no one goes. My favorite spots to do. I love them. Let me get these guys a view of the, uh, on May 27th, if I go to the opening of Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah, you can give me an ECV and wait in line. What? <laughs> Think about that it. That is smart. We're going to be waiting in line for a long time. Might yeah. as well be sitting down. So are you willing to do that on the opening and then when Benny comes, do it again with Benny? I think I'd rather save my rage for Benny. I like waiting in line. Well, that's you think they're going to let us go through the queue on the 10th? Or are they going to uh, do like the cast members and they're going, you know. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I would hope they want us to see the queue. But you never know. But if they don't, then I will come back. For sure. Your ECV hypothetical situation doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> and it would allow us to go drink around the world mm -hmm. right after, which food probably we'll need. Hmm. 
So we'll be the people like when the ECB's online just playing heads up. This is a stupid game. Yep. While everyone else is suffering. Yep. I love it. We get one with a basket. We put our drinks in there. Dude, we wouldn't have to get up from the ECB. Let me switch it so they can take some of uh, that. That was really good. Yeah. I can't wait to see this dance coming. I want to see what they're going to bring. All right, so they're coming when? 5.30? At 5, their show starts at 5.30 from what I see. What time is it now? Oh, it's, no, I don't see it on here. I got to go check. I'll show you what time I'm just putting the camera on the lake for the time being. Yeah. It is 1.11. 111? Oh, okay. So, like five minutes, I think we'll start walking to the ferry, and well, I think we gotta go for four or five. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta be back here. What's this? Hold on. I got low energy for something. My battery in my phone. used to this whole thing on um, being on social media like as far as people just hitting me up out the blue and hey what's up how are you right is it like legit or spam no this is a legit person is it i gotta uh, get used to that like is it benny lugo huh is it benny no it's not i gotta get used to that because you know where i'm from Someone says hi to you. Me, but like, what are you doing? Bobby, please drive safe. Where's Javi on his way to? Um, maybe working. Okay. Javi, you you on your way here to hang with us? That's cool. That'd be cool. We can sign up for real. Minus Lugo. <laughs> Bag. That was real nice. I like that it's a nice, easy day. It's not yeah. too hot. It's not too cold. Would you, uh, I got it. Would you come back here? I definitely would come back. Uh, that was very interesting and good. I will probably try the flight deck next time. Can we try one again? The flight deck. The one that oh, you yeah. had next time. It was good. I think I got the power. Wait. And we're about to, I'm just digesting for a second, and then we're going to head toward the ferry. I want to know if they're going to do contemporary dancing, <laughs> ballet, I want to know what they're going to do. They're going to give me a little hip-hop. They're going to be in for a rude the way that they gave me hip-hop. I mean, they a little bit. They're senior. They're senior. They're senior. Dancing is 10 percent inspiration, 80 percent perspiration. Wait, what are we up to? That's like 150 percent. What's the other 10 percent? Terrell's had enough for me already. But no. Um, I can understand little children, you critiquing them, you know, a little right. different. Yeah. But when you get 
you in middle school, high school, they're grown enough. You're grown enough. Because I know some little children that'll come out here and out there as grown people. Yeah, for sure. If that's something you want to do in life, is dance, be a dancer, you got to go hard. You go hard or you go hard. have my judging scores and I'm sitting right in the front row with my judging scores. Okay. I'll do that. And I'll be like the bounce. I'll be dragging people off stage that don't belong. <laughs> Sir, your dreams are over. Get off the stage. All right, you ready to walk us off? All right, let's do this. All right, we're heading on over to the ferry boat. We're gonna digest these pineapple dollars and what better way to fully digest these things and take a nice 10 minute ferry ride to the French Quarter to have more sugary concoctions. I do have them with me just in case. <laughs> oh, Troy is here somewhere. Huh? Troy, where you at? He wants to say he still. Said, Let's go to Who said that? Touches his stomach. <laughs> she said, "Exactly." <laughs> Troy, where you at? We're by the carousel. We're by Earl of Sandwich. We're heading on over to the ferry, Troy. We're trying to get on this ferry boat to go to um, the French Quarter. So if you're like right nearby, come say hi. Okay, it got a little hotter. I'm gonna come over here in the shade. So I can see. A little bit better. Look at those kids. They wanna throw up. These kids are going crazy on the carousel. This is what me and my brother do though. Let's see if they're still, oh damn. Look at them spitting. When I was living in South Florida, Miami, once a place called the Swap Shop, yeah. they had a carousel similar to this, but it was like up and down stairs. It's like huge. I used to get on the carousel every day. Really? It's like one of those big, like, oh, hey, 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 hey. what's up, my friend? How are you? Good, good, How's it going, good. Troy? Good, good. I've seen you before. Yeah, well, nice stuff. Yeah, what's up with you, man? Exactly. How's it going by you? I'm good, you? I'm good. Everything's great. I just went down and went to uh, the ice cream stop. Oh, okay. And I tried the chicken sandwich over there at um, Everglades. Oh, okay. Per, per Tim uh, Trapper's uh, recommendation. Oh, okay. So it's really good. It's pretty decent. Did you get ice cream? Not yet. Oh. Well, no, I went in there and I tried the flavors. Okay. And it was pretty decent. It wasn't bad. So I might do something before I go. You tried like the weird flavors? Uh, the one I Balsamic? tried was the olive. Oh, okay. The olive one? Nah. No, no, really? No, there was one other place that was like around Winter Park. They used to have something similar with different flavors and everything. Yeah. And the one they had was um, Wasabi. I could see that. 
No, it wasn't good. Oh, it was, it was weird. It was a weird taste. And then what's the other one? The honey balsamic strawberry one? I yeah. Know. So that, so I did try the, um, I think it's called the bottomless lime. Yeah. Oh, Have you tried that one? No, yet? but that looked good. That was really good. And then there's the triple tropic yeah. one. I was. So how you doing, neighbor? I'm good. I, I didn't know. I didn't know you in Claremont until today. Yeah, so. yeah. We live over on. Um, we live right on. Uh, I can't get the name of the street. Um, okay. So you know where Citrus Tower is, yeah. right? Yeah. I live in those little apartments right there. Oh, right? okay. Very cool. The Citrus, and I keep forgetting the name. We just moved there too recently. So. Oh wow. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah I'm cool. down on Hancock. Oh, you're on Hancock, yeah, okay. Right in the corner of that 7-Eleven. So I'm a, I'm a beer merchandiser, and I serve that Publix ah, down there. Okay. So I do the Walmart, the Publix, yes. and all the other stores right there in town. Very cool. Win dixie and all that stuff. Nice. How's your brother have? Oh, he's good. He's home working. He's home working? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm out here with my, one of my besties. All right. That's awesome. Good day. I finally got a chance to run into you, because I always said we're going to go to the parks. Yes. I'm blacked out for another... Three days. Oh, okay. So I've got the, uh, I get the Pirates Pass. So, I was thinking about going to see what, how much would be upgraded. I just upgraded my Universal. Okay. So, and they just started a new I mean, uh, TikTok. Okay. So, yeah. I've been doing mostly all my DJ stuff on that. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, I was at Universal yesterday, so I posted a couple of videos there on that one as well. And this is where I got my start actually getting into vlogging was coming down here before I got my annual pass. Ah, okay. So this is what I would do when I would do like what you did. Yeah. If I stick, uh, I got my DJI stick. Um, I also fly drones. Oh, really? The drone club. Okay. Oh, nice. And uh, so DJing. I came down here one time because uh, I heard that they were looking for a DJ. And when I got there, I guess I didn't really fit the demographics a little bit because I'm going to be 55. So I didn't know it looked younger, but I play a lot of like, I play everything. Right. Country house, right. uh, hip hop, top 40 is not right. But I just didn't fit the bill, I guess. I don't yeah. know, I'm busy with it. So that's so all right. Just didn't appeal to the demographic. Yeah, doing. yeah. And I got a good friend, he's actually one of the DJs here, DJ Roy. Uh, so he was the one who got me the tip. And okay. I was down here uh, earlier last month and they were giving the 50th anniversary sticker, which I got on my thing. But, uh, that's why I came down here for. He said, "Oh yeah, they, they got auditions." So I went to auditions next door from here, and he was like, "Oh well, the job is filled up, but the size." And the guy stopped me. And he was like, "You're probably not going to fit the demographics of what they want anyway." That sucks. And, as he said, he got turned down too. So, but this just stopped me from going to the parks. I love it, you know. And that's my past. I time. will say this: never stop. Like keep yeah. going. You just never know when they'll say yeah. yes. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't like parties. Um, I did tell. Some other friends like uh, Wes. I yes, told Wes that yes. do his wedding if he wanted me to. Him and John. Um, I got another friend that she's getting married with her girlfriend. And I said, listen, I'll gladly do yours if you want. Um, I told Steph and uh, Mike I would do theirs, but they they got a they're low. So yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, let me get a, get a selfie with you guys. But have you? I have your socials on the screen. Oh, Instagram. you do. Yeah. Sweet. Thank yeah. you so much. I prepped it this morning. Great. Guys, please go follow Troy. Please do. Excellent please, guy. Guys. I'm finally glad we, we met. got the same phone. <laughs> yeah, well, yours, I'm sure, is not cracked like mine. <laughs> not exactly the same. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I just I had another friend. If you ever see her, she's going to be in the park. We just talked to her. Uh, Chrissy. Uh, she goes by the real son, kids, Chrissy. She was okay. here yesterday. And I was telling her, well, listen, that's when she's opened up. I said, to her, I'm going to stop in at the place. I think my first time being over there. Because I was initially going to go to. Well, if Santa should get their, their uh, holiday sandwich. Yeah. And I said, ah, I think I'm going to try something new. So I really love their chicken sandwich. Right now. That's cool. really good. I totally forgot about the donut place. Yeah, yeah you guys got to try it out. Yeah, next time for sure. Uh, let me get you both in here, guys. Take that one. Thank you so much. Sorry, it was great meeting you. It was good seeing you too. Have a great hey, day. Hopefully, we'll meet up again. Are you guys know? going over to get those beignets? Yeah. I've we, been looking all over for a place in here, and I don't think they do, but I, I have a recommendation with somebody. They said at the um, over where the dessert place is, yes. they should have them over there. Okay. All right, very cool. Right. Thank you for having right. Have a great day, man. So yeah, that was Troy. You know, we know him from Instagram. Darrell knows him. He met him once before. A uh, real nice guy. Great content on Instagram. So go check him out. Okay. 
Oh. How do people get by security with the live stream? You're not supposed to live stream. What? Oh, where we're we going? No, I know, I know. So which way we're going to go? We got a tank. We got a. Yeah, so which way? Oh, they can go over here? Oh, this one. So what do I do? Just put a screen over it and mute it? Yeah, you just put a screen over it and mute it so they can't see it. But... Yeah. yeah. Uh, coming back, we did. Coming back, we did, yeah. It was quick. Going? I'm not so sure. You ever go in here for anything? Nope. It's nice. That's some cool stuff. I think you can go down. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to go through security. I think going through is not a big deal. But coming back, I would have to shut it off. But I think after we go to the French Quarter, I'll probably wrap up the stream anyway. But hey, Pat, Pat, what's up? So we're just heading toward, I, I, it doesn't look like too much of a security check here. So we're going to go through Alice's Wonderland and on the ferry and head back to uh, French Quarter. Sorry. What is this? Oh, it's a show? I guess it's a show. Only 200 something more days Christmas, guys. Can't wait. Best time of year is Christmas around here, hands down. And the holidays. Between Halloween and the New Year. This is my first year experiencing that. And I absolutely loved it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. All right, you ready to do this? I'm excited about this ferry. But you went on it two weeks ago. I just hate the ferry boat. Wait, these water shoot up in this? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. How many of you guys have been to Disney Springs? Whether you've watched on the replay or watched on live, leave a comment down below. How many times have you used this part of Disney Springs? Now I know during COVID, it was kind of shut down, but pre-COVID and even post-COVID, world that we're living in now or post-COVID-ish world, have you taken the ferry from here? Have you visited any of the resorts? Now I know you can't visit all the resorts from this um, ferry, but we're going to the French Quarter. You can also go to Riverside. Uh, I think someplace else. I forget the other one. But the ferry boat is pretty long. So I'm glad to be able to get some of that. And the audio holds up. It's going to be really windy because we're about to water. So I apologize about that. There's some uh, with the Good Neighbor Hotels. Disney Good Neighbor Hotels start around the Disney Springs area. Let's do this. Which side, though, right? Yep, this is where we're going. Go right here. This is French Quarter. Yo, this looks like it's working out good. Last time it was a big line. We're coming at a good time. So if it gets kind of packed on this ferry boat, I'll kind of show you the sights and sounds. I'm not really into talking to myself on camera when there's people breathing down my neck. But if it's a spacious kind of ride, then I'll enjoy it a little bit more. But I love these ferry boats.
So let me know if the audio and video are still kind of up. That would be a great help, especially on this part, because we're going to take a ferry boat between... We're going pretty far back. So let us know. Very close, Quidditch. Thank you. I'm shocked it looks good. Torme's, I don't have luck usually, so I'm glad it's holding up still. How are you doing? I gotta tell you, I'm kind of quiet because I'm just taking the sights in, and it's beautiful. It's windy and cool, and I'm just getting ready to enjoy. I sit down and enjoy this ferry ride. I would love one day to stay. That's Saratoga Springs, right? I would love one day to stay at Saratoga Springs because look how close you are to the ferry boats. Look how close you are to Disney Springs. It's just awesome. I would love to stay there for like two, three days and just chill. And imagine like you have those balconies and stuff and you're just looking back on the water and just taking in all the ferries. Pretty cool. So we're just waiting real time, guys, for our ferry boat to come in you're enjoying your day please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel let me give the socials now while we're just sitting here i'm brian from brian and ed you can follow us on instagram facebook and youtube under the same name i'm here with my buddy theme park lifestyles being simulcast actually to his channel as well so if you're watching on his channel give him a like give me a like give us a sub comment down below have you ever taken the ferry Disney Springs to a resort, and if so, what'd you guys do? Or if you have any other tips for our hanging out at Disney Springs and having a good time, drop them down below. Thank you guys so much. In the back there, you can see um, Cirque du Soleil. There's the, um, if I go what they call it, I'll just call it the balloon at Disney Springs. And there's paddlefish over here. The sky is beautiful today. I just want to give this up for anything. I love being in Florida. Let's see what you could us. If you put your beard over the mic, does it? I doubt it, Jaquita. I wish though. I want to ride the speedboat. Okay. Where's the speedboat? Right there. That boat going fast enough. I think that might be security. You don't even want to ride the ferry boat that goes a half a mile a minute. Listen, it'll get you there faster. Okay. If it crashes, though, you have a more likely. Uh... I'm not worried about it crashing because guess what? Who's going to get it first? The captain of the ship. Wow. Darrell spreading the magic here. Well, what we're going to do, though, what we're going to do, Darrell, with Benny and Iad. Maybe some other good folk, maybe Troy, maybe Mike. Uh, we're going to rent a pontoon boat. We're going to rent a pontoon boat. And we're going to go off on the um, Seven Seas Lagoon. Augustine, how are you? Welcome. And good afternoon. We're just spending the day at D Disney Springs, Augustine, and we're taking the ferry boat to the French Quarter. Get some beignets. Wait, yeah, what? What? All right, so everybody on this side, your boat is not here. It'll be a yellow flag boat or a purple flag boat. Yellow is Riverside, purple is French Quarter. When it gets here, your captain will come up and tell him who, which one you're going to, and you'll board with him. Everybody on this side, where's everybody headed? All right, if you're going to Saratoga, you're coming with me to the blue flag boat. If you decide you're going to Old Key West, as soon as he's empty, he is Old Key West, and he will take you. I don't know what's over there. I definitely believe it. Okay, it, it, it. Well, Oki West does give like that laid back vibe. Though.
Augustine will come in. I don't know. I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a Disney. I don't know. I'm not a Disney pro pro pro. I don't know. You're not a Disney pro. pro no, pro. I don't. I know. I don't know all everything. I don't. Which is fine. Like I want to experience a lot of new stuff this year. Why do you step your game? Oh. So, what's the difference? We're on the same level. Illamar. Illamar. See ya, Manny. What's up, my friend? I think she was talking to the captain. No, referring to the captain. So, being that we'll be first time, where do you want to sit? Back? Or what? Always in the back. Oh, in the back. Lord, bro. You want to sit in the front? That's right. Ugh. You can sit in the back. <laughs> okay, so. All right, you know what? You're going to go a little more on Sunday about the choir? Yes, I am. I mean, it wasn't nothing bad, bad, but... I'll go ahead and so when you... Real, real question. So, like... And this is why I'm sensitive toward, towards it. I notice it, too. Like, so when I grew up, I had white Santa Claus, white jeans, you know, white, white everything. But then, you don't... I don't, like, even question it growing up because that's just ingrained. But then, as I grow up, I think of like other cultures. And like, what do they think when they see, what they see is, a, you know, a lot of these kids just white, Santa Claus white. Well, okay, when it comes to Santa Claus, it is what it is. We don't really. It's fictional. It's fictional, right? About what it says in the Bible, it's really no ideology of what he looks like, but it somewhat describes what he looks like, and he's not white, right? right. So right. That's why it's just like okay. But when you, what you enter a room, right? But when you see this, I'm talking about serious stuff and like less serious stuff, like choir, entering a room or being a place wherever where it's only white people. You notice that? Is that something you notice right away? Of course. For the lack of, of, of people of color, you notice that right away. Yeah. It's, I'm it's, trying to think in my head. If I walk, it's just something that you you see. Like if I'm walking, like like for example, if I just walked into this place, yeah, I would look around my surroundings. I would already know. Okay, it's not that many of us here. Right. So is that uncomfortable feeling, no, or just you just, just it is what it is, it is something it is that you normalize? Oh, whoops. The hustle will be that we were betting just in a podcast on the ferry. Now, if I was in on a, on a, going to the jungle or some mess, then no, I wouldn't go. I would feel uncomfortable. He's so stupid. He's so dumb. I can't with him. But honestly, these are the conversations we have on our Sunday streams with Benito. Uh, we do do theme park news and life in Florida. But overall, we kind of just shoot the shit. We're who we are on camera and off camera. We're just chilling. We're just guys who like to chill. Oh. Yeah, no problem. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? Good. We're going to the French Quarter. French Quarter and Riverside. Come on, okay. All right. Thank you so much. That's a good song. That's a guilty, it's a guilty pleasure. Hi, here we go. 
we go, guys. We're going right over to the French Quarter. What were you looking at? What were you doing? Oh, what? The party in the USA? Oh, but I caught, I, I caught you at the end there. There's a few times I caught you jamming out. Like when we went to Icon Park. Huh? I love that song. It's a great song. I think, I think Miley Cyrus is underrated. She's a good singer. I love the raspiness. guys we hope wherever you are you're having a great day you have a great time whether you came in and gave us a like whether you commented a little whether you uh just came and left okay i gotta move all right no problem who am i gonna be famous now yeah no hard <laughs> you got a famous no oh, no man. no yeah not yet Over there. Oh, that's Danny. This is how it feels to win the back. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited a little bit of banana. I don't see it in the back of the That's true. That safety reason? For safety reasons and other reasons as well. That will go into on Sunday. Yeah. Listen, I'm the controversial person in the world. I have a feeling uh, Benny's going to claim that crown in a couple months when he gets used to this. <laughs> the end of so. Sorry. I'm sorry. Totally My whole wire is still down there. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. Sorry. What is that? <laughs> Sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> Do you like sitting near the edge, brother? Yeah, because I can get up on the top. Let's not scare the children. <laughs> I was about to say that. Like, they always do this. Don't mention that word. Yeah, I heard this. I heard this.
these pre-COVID, they didn't allow people to stand on these boats. The man, he's working his hand last night. I'm excited. Okay. I'll, I'll message him later. Oh, where is he working? Yeah. yeah. Theme Park's going to hit you up, uh, Manny. Wow. 
Oh, I saw some many. Oh. Oh, wow. 1988. Wow. That's crazy. Any plans to ever come back here for a visit? Cannot wait to meet you. I bet you it's gonna feel like just like we just 
just picking up like yesterday, like, you know, we were great friends all these years. And that's how it feels with these guys. Welcome to the French Quarter. As we're coming into the dock here in just a moment, I do ask that we keep all hands, arms, legs, and feet inside the boat at all times. Please make sure you if you're standing. Please make sure you're holding on and wait for that all clear to go ashore, friends. Now, if you are looking for Disney's wonderful Mickey shaped beignets, this is the place to find them. Oh, 
I don't like that dog. You don't like that dog? Thank you. You are. All right, guys. Let me get this in order. Hold on one sec. No problem, John Rowe. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it so much. Thank you so much, John Rowe. I appreciate that support. I appreciate that. We're having fun. All right, where we're going. All right, so this is the first time I came to the French Quarter was two weeks ago with REL, Theme Park Lifestyle, and I fell in love with it. I really like it. I think uh, he'll speak on it in a minute, but I think he wants to uh, maybe have part of his birthday celebration here in the fall, and rent out a room and go nuts and chill out. Let's see what you're pretty saying. Yes, my mom just bought the barbecue. So you know what? Oh, nice. Nice. Yep, summer is, uh, there's some nice cool days. We've been having a little at night, but summer is definitely upon us. What is this, like a gift shop? That's cool. What I wouldn't give to take the golf cart around. But look at this, guys. This, this you know, I, as I just said, first came here a couple weeks ago. Look at the feel and look of the French Quarter. It's pretty cool. Now, my first ever vacation I ever took as an adult to Walt Disney World was Port Orleans Riverside. And that was a solo trip. And I thought that was pretty cool. 1913 should have. Don't do this to me. It always likes to call out my age. But I was just saying, you, you, you were impressed by these, right? That so much so that you, you might consider it part of your birthday celebration? Maybe. I mean, look at it. Yeah. They definitely have the um, French Quarter vibe down. It is very cute. I mean, from the trees alone. Beautiful. That's beautiful. They, they, they did this well. Darrell's about to be killed by that motor vehicle. Should I tell him? Should I not tell him? Yeah. Let's live on the edge and not tell them. But look at this. Imagine your room is right here. Imagine your room is right here. And you have the beignets and restaurants down here and the pools right here. I mean, I, I, I would love it. Okay, so no, I haven't. So when I say... I, I guess I shouldn't speak when I say they've done it well because I've never been there to know. I've just seen videos and stuff, but I would love to go one day. I've never experienced it uh, in real life, like the real life French Quarter. Oh, I have. So does it hold up? Um, we'll, sort of, kind of. I mean, obviously we're in a theme park, right? Theme park resort. Yeah, that's but what I say, sort of, kind of. Does it give a smidge of a vibe? Yeah. Okay. Ah, um, Manny was there for Mardi Gras. Louisiana. That's cool. Hey, Mardi Gras is the best. You get countless people. I would... <laughs> well, I'm sure if we hang around long enough, we'll see some topless fall. In five minutes, you might see that with me smothered with uh, beignets. How are you, sir? All right, so here's kind of like, what, the main action here? Yeah. This is, 
I guess the, the, the hub of the resort because you have all the rooms. Revelers Row. Uh, you have the check-in over here and some of the restaurants. Now, some aren't open just now. Some open like the lounges and stuff. I think they open after five. But look at this entrance. So I gotta say, I'm feeling the heat a little. It's probably about 85 right now, so it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's definitely warmer than what we started off with. Look at those palm trees, guys. It's so cool. So if you watch this on the replay and you're just coming in, or if you're live or you're ninja watching, we're just here. I'm with my friend Terrell from Theme Park Lifestyle. We started out in Disney Springs and we made our way to the French Quarter. And along the way, we stopped at Salt and Straw, Swirls in the Water, Pin Training Store, met our friend Troy for the first time, which is kind of cool. Took the ferry and now we're here. After a peaceful, relaxing ride, we're here. Now we might have hit the lunch hour here for a lot of people coming in, checking in, checking out. So let's investigate. This is where you need to go. All right, so we're gonna head inside, cool off a tiny bit. Um, let's see if we can check out these beignets. Oh, so much cooler in here. <clears throat> All right, Darrell, you know exactly where to go now. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. Not too bad. I don't know if I'm going to get, I'll share a beignet with them. Um... <laughs> We'd never talk trash about you, Javier. That's funny. But I kind of like that, Jaquita. That's what I want to go there for. Here's a quick service meal, um, which is always good too. I might drop over later and get a soda from here. <clears throat> All right, let's check this place out. So we're at Scat Cats. I think it's a band of uh, Scat Cats Club Cafe. Here we go. Here's the beignets. The pricing. You're getting. Baton Rouge beignets? Mm -hmm. okay. Guys, if you were here, if you were here, which one would you choose? Which option? Bailey's ice, Irish cream, Kahlua, Rum that looks good. They're all good. I want one of them. Um, I don't think they do that. Huh? I don't think they do that. I don't care. I'm gonna, do that. I'm gonna have to let's try. <laughs> all right, Terrell. That's a cute table over here. So this is the line, it's not really long. It wasn't long last time we came here.
Yeah, we did that last time. We did that last time, and then we saw people coming out with like ice cream and whipped cream and all this shit. So like, we gotta try that next time. So you sticking with that one? The rum? If you can't get all three, you're going to pick the one. Oh, okay. They used to give you three. Manny said to get six. Ten ninety nine is the better deal, but we did that last time, right? Yeah, we got that last yeah. time. I'm trying to do it. You want to be knocked out? You want to be knocked out on the ferry? Okay. I had a hard week of nothing but working. I need some adult breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what they had last time. Those girls that passed them. Yes, Shaquita, yes. I was thinking the same thing. Um, I'm saying scat means another thing, too. Yeah, I have that. Cat food. You know what? I'm going to fumble slow and I'm going to head over to the table. And I'll join you over there. Yeah, I'm gonna get some of them here. I, uh, I'm kind of bored. Let me put you guys down here. Give me one second. Are you guys still with me? I think I made an oopsie and I X'd out the stream or something. So if it's still up, let me know. I figured I'd switch around and say hi to you guys again before Joel comes back here with the um, with the beignets. Because when he comes back, I think I'm gonna go get a drink from uh, the um, quick service. So I'll leave you here with him. And how's everyone doing? Please let me know if it's like. Okay, cool. Very cool. Thank you, Javi. No, I would never leave you. Not on purpose, anyway. That was an accident. I was fooling around because um, StreamYards is pretty a lot easier to do on a desktop when you go live. Uh, not that everyone cares about this, but um, this is my first time streaming with live stream outside the house on a phone. So I'm kind of getting used to all the settings. So very cool. Very cool, very cool, very cool. So Benny's coming next week with his parents, our friend Benny, and we're going to try and see if we can hang out a little, make some time. Joel scored us passes for um, Cosmic Rewind, so on May 10th, May 10th at 11.30, he and, uh, and I and Darrell will be heading towards um, Cosmic Rewind, I'm excited about it. So, so guys, th thank you for hanging in the stream, we're going to keep streaming until we're done with our order here and our stay at the French Quarter, but 
I just wanted to thank you guys now, in case you're not here at the end, just thank you guys for coming in, whether you pressed the like, whether you commented, whether you followed um, social media or subbed on YouTube. Um, I thank you. Or even if you came in here for a split second, said yeah, I have you on in the background, regardless. It's all good, it's all great. Um, we're getting our juices, we're getting our mojo back, and we want to like start streaming, you know, every week going forward. So we want to do the home stream on Sundays and then like, like a live stream from some type of area during the week. So just to get some practice in. Because by the fall, I want to be up and going and be like a pro. Who you talking to? Who you talking to? I'm talking to Jacob. I'm telling how, like, you know, we're getting back in the groove of streaming and the other stuff. This is my first video for 2022. <laughs> yeah, it's my first stream since December. And uh, we haven't done a video or stream out of the real world since um, the holidays. We have, those, uh, we have done a couple of streams from the house on Friday, on Sundays, which is what we do every week now. So tune in for that. Subscribe to my channel, his channel. It's broadcast on both channels. Anyway, I'm probably boring with that. But how are you? How was how, Jaquita? You have a barbecue set up and going? We're gonna barbecue. We're here at Scat's Cap, Scat, Scat Cats Club Cafe. Try saying that twice. We're waiting on the beignets. I think um, Doyle, Theme Park Lifestyle, got some alcohol cream or something. This one, so we're waiting for that. That is. Just so you know, we're here at the French Quarter in Disney. Um, but what are you guys doing the rest of your day? When are you guys coming to Disney next? Javier, we need to meet up soon. You're gonna be on stream with us Sunday, but we gotta meet up in real life. So, if you're coming in here just and enjoy watching, just, just give us a like. Even if you hate watching us, just give us a like. Even if you hate my guts, give me a like. So, this kind of mirrors... Um, thank you, Chiquita. It's been so long, though, since that happened. We do have a cruise coming up this summer on The Wish. I, I, you know, I, let me take that back. It got canceled for first... Um, Reservation got canceled, and then we still have yet to make one. So we might make it for late summer, or we might do it for Halloween on the high seas. So we might do that. Um, but thank you, Sprita. Um, yeah, we're just getting back into it. It feels good to be out and streaming and stuff. Um, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to become anyone I'm not. I don't want to have to worry about being in the parks every day of the week. I don't want to do that. But I'm going to start out with like one stream a week. One stream a week and see how it goes. So, Jaquita, you said something before about a barbecue. You got one? And are you about to throw down? Do you barbecue well? Oh, I will say, our experience that we're having today is pretty much mirrored the experience we had the last time. Um, it's about the same crowd level. It's not too crowded. Um, last time we came, we were around like six-ish. Um, but, yeah. So it's about the same crowd, about the same weight in line. Real quick real fast um, so it's not too bad and it's right here off the, the ferry boat when you come so it's pretty cool but yeah i appreciate that how's the um audio and video oh stretch I think we're next up. <laughs> next time I would love to get um, Darrell, Benny, I want to get Javier, maybe we get our friend Troy, and some other peeps on um, one big live stream. That would be pretty cool. I've been eating the barbecue, something called burnt ends. Ooh. I grew up, my mother loves the burnt ends of stuff. She also loves the elbow of like Italian bread that's really hard and crusty. I tend to like that too. So the burnt ends of something, yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, Jaquita. Alright, there's people walking out with nauseously big bowls. So, we're not getting that, but 
Once the roll comes, I'm going to flip the camera on him so you can see him tasting and eating it. Well, I'm going to scurry about and get myself a soda. I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm parched. Uh, uh, it has suddenly turned into pool weather, guys. I wish I could have access to this pool. I would go swimming. But yeah, pool weather is a pool weather is upon us, as well as uh, real quick lightning, thunder and lightning storms and rainstorms. We haven't gotten in the past couple of days, but last week we were getting a few. I'm gonna put the camera back on me because I'm trying to be respectful for people. Ooh, uh, eating. I don't want them to think I'm getting them. So I picked these up. I'm excited. I can't wait to show you yeah, this. I love Epcot. I have a couple of huge Epcot. <laughs> Where did Rel go? Um, Rel, funny story, funny you should ask. Rel got a squirted off the property. I wasn't trying to show it because it really wouldn't be good for the stream, but second thought i should have showed him being taken off property it probably would have gotten us at least five more likes we got us at least five maybe six more likes now Darrell, Darrell's right here he's waiting it's on, on the line where we were for you know once you order they get your name and he's waiting for them to call out his name but no one else is in there so he should be next i know you miss your Darrell. either you miss your Darrell or i'm extremely boring Or it's both. But I'm glad I bought the um, my backup battery because my phone battery was going. But oh, and another thing, I will say this, as you may or may not have seen on the stream leading up to here, uh, we've met a lot of just good people, like friendly people who saw that we're streaming and just acted normal and low key and down, down low, you know, like just down to earth. And that was pretty cool. Oh, shit. All right, here you come. Let me flip this. Oh. Oh. It's she was asking how much she was worried. Oh, I'm just trying to get my, my food. <laughs> yes. It's totally going to get rid Here they are. Are they a mix? Um, one of them is wrong. Yeah, this one is wrong. That one's wrong? Okay. I'm with you. You want a drink? Or no? I do, but I can get my own drink. Man. What do you mean? I can get my own drink. Okay. Me too. Uh, what Any though? drink but a damn no diet. Yeah, no sugar free. No sugar free, no diet. I need sugar. The quid is true. All right, I'm ready.
Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to take some photos on what I'm about to indulge into. My phone is dying, you guys. <laughs> Jaquita, I didn't get removed from the property. I didn't cut up yet. See, I told you you should have brought Gaston. Yeah, but that's a service animal. What do you mean? Gaston could be a service animal. He could. <laughs> Would he talking? Behave? I don't know. Would he be talking to the good folk? Yeah, but that's not like a good thing. Manny, we got enough battery. I have like backups to the backups to the backups. Oh. I don't have no battery. My battery is not going about the I guy. said that as literally it drops because I pulled on the string. Your battery's dead? No, I got a thing here to charge it. As soon as I find it. Are you guys going to twisty twisty for a second? Give me a second. Of course, as I gloat to Manny that I have a backup to a backup, it goes. Hold on, one sec. So I managed to pick up these. I'm actually, my brother wants it actually, so I managed to pick up the Epcot one and the Disney one. Yeah, but Manny, it's not dead though, so I don't know why it tilted. I think because um, the charger that I plugged in, I accidentally hit it. So the battery is fine. Um, actually, it's just how do I do this on stream without driving them crazy? Question. What's the question? Let me take this off. Damn. Do you need some hand sanitizer? Yeah. Is your thing not working? 
it dropped and I, instead of fixing it while I'm on stream, we're, we're gonna end it from here anyway. Instead of fixing it, uh, I'm driving busy. Do it fit? Huh? Open. You gotta take that off and open it. Ah, yeah. Javi's like, when are you gonna start fucking eating? When I get ready. <laughs> I'm looking for my charger, Javi. Okay. This is where it goes. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Open it. Yeah, I think you'll stick the phone. Sit the phone in there. Not that way. Long ways? Yeah. You think it's gonna fit long ways? Yes, it's just. No, no, stick the phone in. Yeah, hook up. Yeah, yeah, stop. Right. Sorry, you guys. Hey. Are they upside down? No. Are they upside down? No. Okay. Wait, they upside down. Sorry, you guys. Give me a second. All right, there they go. I hope it's dying. That'll be all right. What's going on, Two Real Geeks? How are you guys? <laughs> two Real Geeks. They came in a, a malfunction. I know, right? What's up, Two Real Geeks? All right. So we're at the culmination of our journey. We start off in Disney Springs with salt, <laughs> salt and start with this. Manny said the food is getting cold. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, I found my charger. All right, let's do this. This is mine. That's yours. I had to get the one for myself. Oh, this is the shots that you just press in. I didn't realize that till now. You were awesome. That's good. We started our, our adventure off at 12 o'clock and we made our way here. Wait, right, so you just squeeze in like an injection? Shit. You know, you can't be a doctor. Who, me? Yeah. Why? Because you're going to kill somebody. Yeah, but look, I emptied my vial perfectly. You're still struggling. I'm not struggling. I'm actually trying to get every drop. Alright, let's this. That's kind of cool. Let's just press it right into my mouth. See, look, look how much you left in here. Nice. Two real geeks passed through here. French quarter. All right, let me move this. How much was this one? Let's give one. Like 40 bucks. I'll try that one. All right. Go right, ahead. Yeah, I, tech issues are the best, especially with Brian, because he freaks out. Actually, I didn't freak out today. Actually, do, do, Brian, would you, you had, admit that I didn't freak out today? had a small meltdown Wait. in the beginning. No, I didn't. I was confused. I didn't have a meltdown. You like to exaggerate shit. You had a small meltdown, Brian. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, he's on my Alcohol. It's okay. Yeah. 
What are your first thoughts? Um, and which one did you try? This is the rum. It's okay. Would it be something that I would just go out my way to get? No. You wouldn't go out of your way? No. Okay. Two real geeks is like, I'm gonna all have a universal day. It don't matter, whenever. Yeah. I'm done for whenever too. I haven't been to Universal in forever. Anytime except for the 10th and the 27th of May. <clears throat> right, we'll be in the sister box. Alright. Should we get me on here? Alright, I'm gonna try this one. What? That was so disappointing. Yeah. I give it a two. I, I honestly give it a two. Okay, so let's throw it off. off. You just think the whole thing they make? The whole thing is just throwing the liquor into it, it's just throwing it off. Like, it's just to say, just take the shot of this and just drink this, and that'll be it, and then eat the beignet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Kahlua tasted better than the rum one. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna say it was off putting at first. I definitely got used to it. Clearly, I can help them. So they're good. Would I come here and get the alcohol and few the ones again? No. I think next time I'll do the ice cream. And the cream. Can't go wrong with that. But I'm glad I tried. How can you go wrong with, with, with alcohol and it's great? Uh, that wasn't a good mixture at all. Not with the wrong. Yeah, I agree with the wrong. I like the other one a little better. I haven't been to Universal since five years. <laughs> Damn. Man, you work early. Shoot. Manny talking to you about some shirt. Wait, what shirt? Oh, he's still waiting for my mod shirt, bro. Oh, the mod shirt. Okay. I, I'll make it. I forgot about it. Listen, life gets in the way sometimes. I forgot. I know I did promise them a mod shirt. I, I, I totally forgot about it. I haven't even been on YouTube. Okay, you work overnight now, it changes in a few weeks. That's cool. Really overnights? Huh. That's cool. Alright, so we're probably at the 240 mark. Gonna wrap it up from here. I appreciate you so much. Sorry for the technical difficulties at the end. It was going perfect until then. So apologies about that, but uh, thank you for coming in. Thank you for liking. Thank you for stopping by to say hi. Uh, please join me, Theme Park, and my friend Benny for our Sunday live stream this Sunday at 7 o'clock. Um, please check us out for, you know, all the just drama. All the drama. All the drama on Sunday. We talk the shit on Sundays. We don't give a crap. And then we're slowly starting to get back into the live streaming uh, scene. So we want to try to touch upon that each week so we appreciate you guys coming in we appreciate you guys yeah 
we're gonna to rule geeks. We're gonna hit you up uh, when we're gonna meet up again, and when we're gonna meet up at Universal. Um, but it was good, Mandy. I know, Manny. I know. But we'll, 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 we're we're gonna play around with times. As of now, we're gonna stick to Sundays because that's when Ben ben Benito is uh, off from work. So that's the only time we could really get him during the week. But this we, Sunday is at seven p.m. No, this Sunday is at a special time at seven p.m. Uh, we'll put out the socials and we'll put out the hype for it uh, tomorrow with the new time. It's just an hour earlier to accommodate Benny. But um, thank you guys so much for joining us live from Disney Springs and on our trek to the two-star rated beignets. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we had a better experience at the Dollar. The swirl. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was way yeah. better. Yeah. So thank you guys so I much. I didn't even eat all my beignets. That's how bad it was. I'll say that around here. Um, I don't care what it goes Manny, Two Real Geeks, thank you guys. Y'all see me on the news. They're okay, chasing me. Two Real Geeks, the stream is tomorrow night. Yeah, we're definitely going to stop by. We, we always support our, our favorite live streamers. So, um, without a doubt, without a doubt, we'll be there. All right, so take care, guys. Be good. Be well. John Rowe, thank you so much for stopping by and having us on in the background. Appreciate that so much at 10 p.m. All right, we're going to be there at 10 p.m. And we'll definitely hype it up. So, thank you guys and have a great day. And um, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.